I want to get you used to um, the planes. So, uh, see this icon right here? We can create our own uh, planes because uh, sometimes when we have complicated parts, we're not always able to use those planes right here. So, uh, we can click on this option over here and we can uh, create planes. It's got quite a bit of ways of creating planes offset from a plane, parallel to a point, to three points. So you're going to create a plane to three points. You just click on this and it's going to ask us to select point number one. It's point number one right here, point number two, and point number three. So if you see, we got a plane through the three points. And if you click OK, now we can open a sketch onto this plane and we can build our uh, whatever shape uh, our drawing shows. So click on arc, click OK and then click on the pocket and we can uh, go up to next or you can give it a dimension. It's going through the whole part and if you want to go just to the up to next it's just going to stop on the first surface where it's projected so you click ok and there there is our hole what we can do see it didn't go through on the other side so what we can do we can just double click and let's go to more and then we can go to the second limit over here so we can put uh, up to next here up to next here and then click preview and as you see right now it's going through the part on this side so now I click OK and there we have your hole and an angle so it's very important that we get uh, familiar with the plane so we can create our plane however we want uh, and uh, what else uh, let's try something else we can do an offset from a plane so what we can do we can uh, click on the surface and automatically it gives us an, an offset so we can move it up and down this is an offset from a plane and you can give you a dimension that's a different way of creating a, a sketch click OK or we can create a, sorry, a plane that was offset from a plane then we have a whole bunch of points, options we can go through. We go normal to a curve. That's going to put us a, a plane perpendicular to any curves we have. So if you click on this curve right here, automatically created that plane perpendicular to, to it. So that way we can come here, click on this, and open a sketch. Okay. So right now we're working on this sketch right here but you cannot see what's going on so what we can do if you click on this option right here see what it did we can see up to that uh, plane the geometry but that doesn't mean it's uh, cutting up the geometry if we get out of the sketch it's just a construction element so let's go back on the sketch and we click on the cut part by sketch plane so we can see our thickness. If you want to build something in here, if you want to put a groove through here, if you want to put like a little groove through there, then you click OK. Then it, this is your sketch right here. So you can do a pocket and we can put dimension. Let's put more, give it a dimension. First of all, I have to select this. So let's bring the this limit. We can change the limit. We can drag it by hand. So it goes by inches. So let's go 1.2 over here. Or we can put up to next over here. <coughs> And let's go up to next over here. Let's put a preview. Click OK. 
and we have a groove going to the part. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have over here. We can create the planes uh, uh, perpendicular to the screen, which is an uh, equation. So if you click on this, right now this screen, if you click on any point right now, if you can rotate it this way, any point you select it, so we got a point right there, but it's not uh, parallel to the screen. Now if you put the uh, equation over here, and you put parallel to the screen, watch what happen. Automatically, you put that plane parallel with the screen. So if I click OK, and I click on this plane, and I put normal view, that's parallel to the screen. So now we can build our sketch. Go to this plane, and we can create our own. A shape in here. If we get out, see that sketch is parallel with that plane that we just created, and we can do a pocket up to next, and there is our pocket right there. But uh, for instance, if you don't like this palette to screen, what you can do, you can edit it right away. Just uh, double click on it and move your screen however you want on a new position and put the parallel to the screen again and watch what happens, it's going to automatically update it. So right now we got the new position. So automatically updated our sketch. See how we changed it? So that's a very nifty feature. I like to use this a lot. Parallel to the screen. So there is quite a bit of uh, ways of creating planes. It's very important you get used to this icon over here, creating planes, because not always we're going to be able to use the axis planes so we got to learn how to use our own planes because we might have uh, some complicated parts and we have to be able to know how to use this uh, what else do we have in here normal to a curve tangent to a surface so if you click tangent to a surface you click on any, any surface that you have click the surface then it's going to ask us for a point where to uh, put a tangent into. So just click on this point and automatically we got a plane tangent to that surface. Click OK. So our plane is right here. So we got we can build our sketch right from there. It draws on the sketch. But the part is upside down so we can do just hit normal to view. Hit it again, and automatically it's going to rotate our parts. Okay. Also, we can do offset again. So you can create your plane whatever you want. And if you click on the, on the plane, and you put offset, you can offset the plane that you just created on your own. So create your own plane. But those two uh, planes right now they link to each other so if I change if I click on this and I change the angle let's go on a curve over here and I put parallel to the screen see automatically it changed and if I put OK automatically it's gonna update the offset plane that I, I, I created because they're linked together okay so I wanna make sure we learn about uh, the construction planes is very important. Let's go try right now some more options. So um, let's uh, get rid of this part. So I can close it. Let's say no for the saving and let's put uh, file new and let's type part again in here. Click OK, get a new part, let's open a new sketcher, let's go on a ZY plane, or we can uh, get the planes from here also. Okay, let's create an axis.
So we create an axis, so you can see it's vertical. Vertical axis, and uh, let's try some of those options over here. Let's click on the profile. See this right here? Uh, every time you open it, this profile always goes in a straight line. Then you can create your art. But what we can do, instead of uh, starting with a straight line, we can start with an arc from the beginning. So what we can do is cancel this, and we're going to go here. Let's cancel this. Click the delete key. Go click on the profile. And before we grab the line, let's go here and click on the three-point arc. And automatically we start with an arc from the beginning instead of like starting with a line. Okay. Now it goes back to normal way. Okay. Let's create a any profile you would prefer. Okay, click escape. Let's go back in here. Make sure you snap it into the uh, axis. You see how it gets a uh, it knows it's in the center of the axis. So click in here. Click OK. Click Escape now. And I want to try this new option over here. Let's go connect. So we can click on this line with this line. And uh, it automatically knows the tangency between those two lines. OK. As you see here, we've got a couple options. We can click on tangency and automatically it, it creates this curve tangent to this line right here. And also you can change the tension. You can move it up and down. And same thing with this with this right here. We can instead of curvature we can put tangency and it's now it's tangent with this. Same thing we can create the tension and decrease the tension. Okay. Uh, this arc right here doesn't look pretty smooth, so I can. I'm gonna delete it, and I'm gonna go to corner. I'm gonna pre-select this line with this line, and give it a better shape. Same thing over here. So now we have a profile. Let's get out of the sketch. Let's click on the shaft. And here we have a, a wheel shape. Let's double click on the shaft again. Try some of the options that we have in here. Um, we can change the degrees. You see right here we can change the degrees. Let's put uh, 250 and click preview. Okay, so instead of making a full 360, you can uh, change the degrees to whatever would be comfortable. Okay, let's go back in it. Let's give it a try. And a thick profile. And as you see right now, if I click a preview, everything became a shell. So now we have a, a shell. We can give it a thickness over here. Let's make it uh, 250. 
so now it's going 250 on the inside but if you click on a neutral fiber so we got 250 over here and if you put 250 over here it's gonna go on the on the other side so we got 250 from here to here and 250 from here to here all we can do we can click neutral fiber and it knows that the center line so it's going to go 125 and 125 so if you put half inch over here automatically knows that from the center line from here to here and from here to here we have half inch so if we click ok and we got a, a weird shell we can do some uh, analyzing click on the measure between and over here let's leave it for now on the any geometry let's try to use the measuring tools so let's click on the measures in between and we created this half inch stick so uh, let's click over here any geometry to any geometry so right now I'm going to click on this line to this line and we have our dimension half inch now if we click uh, OK without keep uh, pressuring over here keep measure that's not going to keep the measure so if you click OK that's, uh, the dimension is gone what we can do we can go ahead and do it again but this time let's make sure we have this keep measure we'll grab this move it over here click ok now if we go back on the shaft if we change the half inch to one inch click ok you watch our dimension is not updated what you can do go on a part a right click local update you see the little icon over here that showed us so you cannot see it too well so what we can do we can just click on this if you click on the tree you can see the color it's darker now you can zoom in and out on the tree and we can see the icon over here then it's an, an update so if you click F3 get out of there F3 again now we can click local update and watch our dimension automatically change so keep an eye on the local update when you get the icon over here we have to make sure that we uh, update it and uh, zoom in and out on the tree once again you just click on the tree anywhere over here on this because if you click on the screen nothing happens but if you click on the bar over here colors gets darker so now you can zoom zoom in and out on the tree so and then once you do that you can actually grab this and move it around and so you can put it back again and if you click F3 twice you get out of the mode so now you can zoom in and out on the part click on this zoom in and out on the tree and to get out of it F3 two times to bring it back because if you click F3 just once right now it just takes the tree out of the screen so F3 F3 that's what it does okay let's try to build now a sketch on this surface over here or we can build it on the plane because right now as you see our plane it's in the center so it can go either on the xy on the xz plane we can create a sketch right now or we can create a, a sketch on this plane we can do either or uh, let's go a little bit more advanced this time. So instead of uh, going uh, on the regular, let's change its angle to uh, let's go to let's go odd number two twenty three. Okay, so now we have a weird angle. Now, if you want to create a a groove onto this part right here we cannot go onto those axes because we have uh, 
Actually, we can because this plane right here is parallel with this. But if you want to build a sketch on this surface right here, instead of clicking on the plane, we can build a sketch on this surface. So click on the sketch, click on the surface. And let's create a groove in here. So I've got a groove. We get out of the sketch. Oh, in order to uh, use the groove option, we have to make sure we have an axis. So let's go back on the sketch, double click on the geometry, and let's create an axis. So we have our axis over here. Okay. Get out of the sketch. And now if you click on the groove, let's go this time 360. Let's do a preview. Click OK. So we have a groove into our part. We could have done this on a regular sketch, this one right here, on the main one. But uh, it's a uh, preferences. You can use it later or, or before or later, it's, or after. It's it's up to totally up to you. But uh, if you have complicated parts, you know it's good to know how to use this uh, groove uh, option. So, um, but now let's constrain, let's uh, put some dimensions. Let's make sure we get this groove over here parallel with this right here. So let's throw some dimensions in there and constrain it. So we can double click on the sketch. We can put the hide show. See, it's hidden right now. It's in here. So we can go in here and do hide show, bring it back. Or we can come here. Hide show, hide show. So we can double click on the sketch. And what do you want to do right now? We need to go on this or use this option over here to bring into our sketch this uh, the surface, this line. Okay, so what we can do is just click on this and let's uh, use uh, the project 3D element and now we got that line onto our surf onto our um, sketcher. So if we hide the part, so we got the line in there. But what we want to do because we're gonna use this just for reference, we have to make sure we use it as a uh, construction element. Okay, so let's go normal to view, and let's put this pre-select this line with this line and let's try to give a dimension see it knows it's on an angle but what we can do we can do right click and we can put uh, parallel and see what it does it made a parallel now we can do we can uh, throw some dimensions in there so click on the constraint this line with this line and let's make it half inch. Now we can do a height on this, and we can see right now it's parallel with our uh, with our part. And if we want to bring it a little bit low, uh, we can do we can create some perpendicular line over here, and we can bring it down to uh, whatever dimension. So we can do uh, height. We can hide the part. And we can create a line perpendicular perpendicular to this right here. So when right I see it's trying to uh, snap, it's trying to uh, snap with some of those options. But what we can do is just uh, hit the shift key, and it doesn't snap anymore. So it just um, we can uh, just drop it over here and we can give it uh, a dimension. We can give it a dimension to make sure we get them or we'll make a 90 degree. So let's uh, pre select this line with this line. 
and let's make this 90. So now we know for sure that we have 90 degrees between here and here. And now we can give a dimension to the groove. Sorry, let's make sure we select both lines. So let's make it one inch. And we want to bring it in the center of this. Let's see how big this is. This is 1.5. We can do, we can give a dimension from here to here. Let's make it 400. It knows that we we uh we got the uh, uh, purple in here because the way uh constrained this twice. So let's see what it does. Yeah, it knows that uh, we constrained this two times. So let's go back onto the sketch and let's give it this. Let's hide this and automatically our groove is updated. The last thing we gotta do right now, we gotta make sure we put it in the middle of our line that we just uh, spoke about. So let's uh, do a hide on the part. And uh, what we're going to do, we can create a line perpendicular to this line and another line perpendicular to this line. Then we're going to do a coincidence between those two lines and automatically you should move this in place. Okay, so what we can do, uh, let's grab this line. We have to make sure that we're on the construction, uh, the construction element. It's highlighted because... Uh, Everything that we're going to create right now is just for the construction. So this is good. So we don't want to we don't want it on because we get a full line. So we don't want that. So we have to make sure that we have this on and create a line perpendicular with this line. So you see right now I got the full moon. That means I'm in the middle. And I'm going to go parallel. So we got the sign over here, the parallel sign. So we know that's parallel with this, that's already 90. Then let's create another line. We're in the center right now. So if you move up and down, once you get the full moon, that means you're in the center of the line. we we'll get it parallel again. And uh, all we can do right now, just uh, pre-select this line with this line. And we have to go to the constraint defined on dialog, on dialog box and we have to click coincidence and automatically we got it in the center. Click OK. Let's bring our part back and as soon as we're going to get out of the sketch our model is going to be updated. I want to go try the new option a new icon is called rib. Let's try a new file. So let's close this one down. And let's put, uh, we can go here and grab our new part design from here. Or we can go here and I put file new. We can type part. We can find all this option over here. Or we can go here and then just click on the part design. So let's open a, make a, a sketch. Let's create a weird shape.
Okay, let's keep the let's hit escape now. We got our shape, and uh, for us to create the rib, we need to have uh, the profile and the curve. So what we're gonna do we gotta create our profile at the end of one of those uh, ends of curve, and. Um, in order to start a sketch over here, we can um, create a plane and we're going to go normal to the curve and we'll click on this curve and it's going to ask us to select the curve. So we just select this curve. Now it's looking for the point automatically, it put it in the middle. So we can, instead of automatically default in the middle, we can just click on this point and we'll get our plane over there. Now we'll click OK. Now we can open a sketch on this end of this curve. And we can create any profile. Let's create an ellipse. So now we have an ellipse, right? I, uh, it's not on the center, you can see the point in here, but if you pre-select this point with this point, let's try to do a dimension in here, and before you click it, just do right click and do coincidence, so automatically it snapped into the center of the curve. Okay, so we can get out of the sketch now. We've got the profile go to the rib it's asking us for the profile and the center curve so the profile is this and the center curve is this and uh, if i do a preview there's our little rib we've got a couple options we can uh, choose from over here we can have a pulling direction and we have to click the selection here on the bullet so we can go XY plane, it doesn't like that. We can try this right here. So do a preview. The angle is not constant, but the best uh, option is to. Uh, just keep the angle is the best option because uh, that way we know all the way around this part this profile it's always perpendicular with the curve and we're gonna make it a thick profile see it asks us for the thickness let's make it 100 do a preview so we can uh, have the thick profile going through. Then we can put neutral fiber. It's going. It's uh, going from the center equal amount. So right now, if we put a hundred thousand over here, that means it's going to go from center up a hundred thousand, and from center this curve down a hundred thousand. Quick preview. And there's, uh, there's a rib, there's a couple options, you can do this.